Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you an exciting new feature in Visual Studio for your CMake development. My name is Tina McKenja and I'm a product manager here on the C++ team at Microsoft focusing on CMake and cross-platform development. We have a new CMake debugger integrated into Visual Studio that allows you to debug your CMake scripts in your CMake list.txt files. Let's take a look at how it works in Visual Studio. All right, so now I'm in Visual Studio and I have a CMake project open. There's a few different ways I can access the CMake debugger from this point. The first is I can navigate to the project dropdown and select configure my project with CMake debugger. This will spin up the CMake debugger for this project. The next is I can also right click any of my CMake list.txt files in the solution explorer and the same option will populate to open the CMake debugger. Also, if CMake cache generation fails for any reason, there will be a notification that populates in the Solution Explorer to debug your project with the CMake debugger. All right, so now let's take a look at the CMake debugger in action. What I'll do is open the CMake list.txt file that I want to debug. I'm going to open the CMake list.txt file under the test subfolder in this case. This file includes all of my testing logic. I can start by setting a breakpoint for my debugger on a line number and then running the CMIC debugger from the project dropdown. Okay, I can see that the IDE has entered the debugging state. In the locals window, I can see the state of the target I defined under the add executable command called test instantiator. I can expand to see more information about this target, like that it is using Ninja to generate, and then I can scroll down to verify that the source of this target is set up properly. Now let's watch the first test called test one and step through the debugger. Line by line, I can step through this code like any other debugger in Visual Studio. I can now view the properties for this first test that was set called pass regular expression. This can be super useful as you get into larger CMake projects as you can view all of the state of these types of variables at a given point in time. As you can see in the locals window, I can also expand and view the state of all of my CMake cache variables as I step through code. I can set, set watches on variables by right clicking and selecting add watch. These variables will now be watched in the watch window. You can also navigate over to exception settings and see the different CMake specific exceptions that you can set your code to break on. For example, I'll set a breakpoint on any warning that is thrown and you'll see as I click through my debugger and step through my code that it will break on the first warning message. This can be toggled to any other kinds of errors you see as well. All right, so what do you think? The CMake debugger can allow a lot of insights into your CMake projects at configure time and works like any other debugger would in Visual Studio, as you could see. Download the latest version of Visual Studio, play around with the CMake debugger, and please let us know your thoughts. We hope this helps you with your CMake workflows and makes them a lot more efficient. Also, be sure to check out the Pure Virtual C++ conference on June 6th for more C++ content.